Hey there guys, welcome to the channel Max Codes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use a UI tab bar controller, a custom UI tab bar controller, okay? Now, we're also gonna be using icons, okay? So we're gonna be using these icons, which I will give you a link to in the description. And then you don't have to use icons, by the way, if you don't want to. Like, if you don't care about the icons part, don't worry about it. And then this is the human interface guidelines, which kind of explains a couple of the reasons uh, we need to get these specific sizes of, in our icons. I don't know about you, but I've always been so confused about the icons in iOS development until recently, like a year ago. So not that recently, but recently enough that it's like, okay, hey, I got to share this knowledge with y'all. And basically I've pre-configured these icons to be the right sizes, but it will get you a good point, get you to a good point where you can make your own icons. Okay. Like you'll understand where to go from the end of this video. So I highly, highly, highly suggest watching this video and checking it out. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to explain what's on the screen right now, because you'll see that there's these other apps on the screen and this isn't what we're building. We're just going to build the, the tab bar controller. Okay. These other apps, I actually just got done recording quite a few videos for, um, it's a new UI collection view course that I've recorded. And by the time you're watching this video, it could be available. Um, a lot of you are probably watching this right as I've uploaded it. So uploaded this video. So, uh, it might not be ready, but either way, those are in the description. I'm not going to plug them too much. I'm just going to say that's available. You can check them out if you want. All right. So yeah, let's get started. Let's create our new Xcode project. And then I'm going to choose single view application. I'm just going to call this custom tab bar controller. Okay. I'm going to hit next. And then I'm going to create my project in my code projects directory. And then I'm just going to drag this over here and let's get started by basically going into our app delegate and setting up our view controller from our app delegate. So what I want you to do is get rid of this comment and then I'm just going to drag this over this and this over here. And then now we're good to go and I'll put my face down there. And then in here we can just say window is equal to UI window window dot make key invisible. And then I'm going to say window dot root view controller is equal to view controller like that. Okay. Go ahead and compile your application. And we now have our application set up from the app delegate rather than using interface builder with storyboards. Now in other videos, I show you how to delete the main storyboard and info P list. It's super simple, but I don't want to go off on that in this video and get distracted. So we're just going to start here. Okay. So this is our app. Let's go ahead and go into our view controller and we are not really going to use this view controller yet, but what we'll do for now is we'll just say view dot background color is equal to dot cyan just to kind of make sure that it's on the screen. Cause right now all we see is a black screen and that's, I don't feel too confident about that. So let's make sure that it's on the screen. Okay. And I'm going to take a sip of this beverage. Mm, juicy J. All right. So we're good there. Now what we need to do is we need to actually create our custom tab bar controller. So let's go ahead and create a new file here. And I'm going to call this file dope tab bar controller. I mean, if you're normal, you could call it like custom tab bar controller, but I'm not normal. All right. So here's our documentation. Okay. First thing we need is UI kit. And then we just need to say class dope tab bar controller is of type UI tab bar controller. And then we're just going to look at the documentation here a bit because we need to, or else we're not going to really know what's going on. Okay. So, all right. So basically it says a container view controller that manages a radio style selection interface where the selection determines which child view controller to display. So pretty self-explanatory, but that doesn't really tell us how to use it. So what we need to do is we need to create our custom class and then use it. Okay. So let's see, it's a view controller like every controller is it, it, when it comes down to it, it's a view controller. Okay. And it says the tab bar interface displays tabs at the bottom of the window for selecting between different modes and displaying the views for that mode. So this class is generally used as is, but may also be subclassed. Okay. So we're going to subclass it, not because we're going to change it too much, but because we just want our code to be in a clean spot. We don't want to write all this in the app delegate. Right. And we're going to have a little function to generate our view controllers. So we're going to put it in a, a UI tab bar controller. Now I'm not just going to sit here and act like I learned this all straight from docs. So I'm going to plug, uh, what's his face, Brian over at build that app. I actually learned this from him in his courses. Okay. And I know that plugs are bad for your videos, but 
I mean, and this isn't some deal I have with him, but I did learn this from him. So I want to give him credit for teaching me. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at this. Okay. The documentation, it's not going to help us too much. Like really in all reality, documentation isn't like hundred percent great. Like it's so much easier to have to go watch tutorials. Okay. Like this, <laughs> I just realized this is a tutorial, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to type in a viewed load because this is a UI view controller, right? And then we're going to say super viewed load. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to, I want to use like the large titles, but so we'll write it out and then we'll comment it and then uncomment it later. So we'll say UI navigation bar dot appearance dot preferred large titles prefers. Oh my gosh. I hate that so much. I hate it when you compile the app as you're typing and then it goes over, like it takes your focus off of the text editor because it's going over to the app. It's so annoying. All right. So prefers large titles. Okay. Now this doesn't really do anything yet. Let's go ahead and use it and then just see if we have the large titles. Okay. And then we'll comment it out and then see what normal titles look like and stuff like that. Okay. That's another reason I hate storyboards. Whenever you click on it, it lags for days. All right. So app delegate Swift. And instead of view controller, let's just go ahead and let's say solid tab bar controller. Okay. Let's recompile our application and you're going to see that we no longer have that cyan background, right? But we can easily change that by going back into our dope tab bar controller. Oh, why'd I call it solid? I meant to call it dope tab bar controller. Okay. Recompile that. Go back to your, go back to your view controller, not your view controller, but your dope tab bar controller. And what we're going to do in here is we're just going to say view controllers is equal to an array. And then that is going to contain view controller. Okay. And I'm going to type in two just so that we have two tabs here. Cause I'm not going to create another controller. Let's type in three as a matter of fact, go ahead and compile your application. And you're now going to see that we have three view controllers. Okay. And we should be good there. Now what we're going to do is wait and we should just have three tabs. Okay. You can't see the tabs cause they don't have titles or anything. So what we need to do, and they have to be navigation controllers. So what we need to do is we need to create a function that's going to generate us a nav controller. So let's say generate nav controller, and then we'll say add objective C func. Actually it doesn't need to be objective C. Let's say file private generate nav controller. And then what we'll do is we will have this expect a return type of UI navigation controller. And then we'll say let nav controller is equal to UI navigation controller. And then the root view controller is going to be a view controller we take in as a parameter. So we'll say VC and then we'll just say VC and then we'll say is of type UI view controller. Then what we can do is return the nav controller. And then we can also take in a title. So we can say title string and I'll expand this so you can see all this. And then we're just going to say nav controller dot title is equal to string, sorry, title. And we might have to refactor that, but let's see. Okay. So we don't want to pass in a view controller. We want to pass in a nav controller. So we'll say generate nav controller. What we'll do is we'll put this up here. We'll say let nav is equal to generate nav controller. And then we'll say we're passing in a view controller and the title is going to be first. Okay. It's just our first page. Let's go ahead and take that and let's just put it in here. And let's see what we're given. All right. So we now see that we have our UI navigation controller within here. And it says first. Okay. So next thing we need to do is we just need to like create a few of these. Okay. So let's go ahead and copy this and let's say one, two, and then we'll say second and then we'll say third. Next thing we'll do is we'll just put them in there. Okay. So nav one, nav two, and then now we should have three tabs that say first, second, and third. Okay. So pretty cool stuff. Um, although our title isn't really working. Okay. So what we need to do is get rid of this. Uh, I thought this was going to happen. Well, let's comment it out and then let's just say, well, I guess we still need that, but we want to put it on the, on the VC as well. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll say VC dot navigation item dot title equal to title before we throw it in there. And then now it's going to have it on both of those. Okay. Now the one thing we're missing is our UI navigation controller image. So that's where these images come in. I need you to download these 
And if you're if you don't want to do images, then you can just leave a comment and like the video and you know share it all over creation and thumbs up the rest of my videos right now. And then you can leave <laughs> or you can just keep watching. And we'll do the images. No, but for real, you can uh, leave now if you don't want to do the images part. Okay. But I think that's like half the reason people come here. Oh, there's my Dropbox. All right. So basically what we're going to do is download these images. Download. Oh my gosh. Why is my internet slow right now? All right. So go ahead and open that. That's going to give you your icons. It's going to look something like that, except for yours are probably going to show the icons because you're not using iCloud Drive like me because you're smart and I'm an idiot. And then what we're going to do is drag all these icons into our assets and we now have our, our icons. Okay. So you'll, it'll look something like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get the simulator here and you'll see that that looks good. First, second, and third. Next thing we're going to do is actually apply these images. So let's go into our view controller. No, our dope tab bar controller. And then what we want to do is we just want to basically apply this image to the tab bar item image. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's say nav controller. Wait, maybe we can just apply it. Okay. Yeah, tab bar item dot image is equal to UI image. And then we'll have to generate this image based on it, but we might as well pass the image in. So we'll say image and then we'll put a comma here and say image. And then we'll put a comma here and say image. And then this also has to be a type of UI image. And if this is confusing, just stand by. I'm going to type it all in and then you can copy it or something like that. But I'm just going to explain it too. So yeah, it says missing argument, missing argument, hit fix, hit fix. It's basically just going to put image in, put image in, and there we go. Okay. I think you understand what's going on here. UI image. And then we're just going to choose the named one. Well, we could use a generic, we can use a, not a generic, but a image literal. That way we don't have to. Okay. Well, I thought you could image literal. There you go. I forgot how to use image literals cause I just haven't used them in so long. Basically you're just going to select the icons like that and you can copy it and paste that in and then paste that in here and then choose the other images. Okay. Now let's go ahead and compile this and it's going to look really good except for you're probably wondering how the junk I got it to look good. Okay. And that's where the human interface guidelines come in on apple.com or developer.apple.com. But let's just go ahead and compile it make sure everything's working. Did I get, I, did I get an error? Why did I get an error? That's dumb. All right. So go ahead and compile that. And then I'm going to pull up this again. And then basically you can see that the tab bar icon, there's a tab bar icon size. This is in the description by the way. And it says the target width and height you want it to be somewhere around 23 points. Okay. So regular tab bar, my images start at 24 points. Okay. So let me just jump over here and show you what I mean. If I like inspect this, okay. I, th I think you'll believe me. Okay. You'll believe me. That's 24 points. And then since it's times two, I just exported it as 48 points. And then times three, I exported it as what is it? 72 points. I think that's three times 24. Yeah, 72. Wow. All right. Essentially, you can see that 23 and then at two times, stuff like that. They're pixels, okay? So I actually exported them as pixels, but it still looks good. You really want to export them as points, okay? But basically, this has all the information on it. I'm not going to explain it too much because it can't really be explained. It's just it's the way it is, right? It's like, okay, here's the navigation bar and toolbar icons. Here's the target width and height. Just export them as that, okay? So you want it to... 25 points is going to be at three times is going to be 75 pixels, right? 20, 25 at two is going to be 50 pixels. Okay. And so on. So basically you just want to follow these guidelines when you're creating your apps. And if this really didn't make any sense, that explanation, uh, please let me know in the comments and I'll make a short, concise, and really thought out video. Like I didn't even think of this video. I just kind of opened my computer and recorded it. But, um, if you really want an explanation on the human interface guidelines, specifically icons, I will make a video on that where I prepare before it for like a couple hours, not a couple hours, like an hour. And then I will explain it all. Okay. But I'm not going to do it unless it's wanted, but just let me know if you want me to explain all this and I will, but yeah, that's it for this video. We now have a custom UI tab bar controller source code in the description. Cause this video is probably hard to follow, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.